John Deal, one of the co-stars of our South Florida favorite classic Miami Vice 30th anniversary. John, just what was it like working on the show and with the cast and the success it had? Well, it was it was all new to me in a way, you know, because uh, I, that was the first TV show I worked on, and it was just a few years, four years or so after I had started acting. So, so I didn't know I could compare it to anything. So, uh, and who knew it was going to be such a big hit? So. But it was, it was a lot of fun, uh, and it was a good experience, but I wanted to do more, and there wasn't enough written, uh, I, I think, for myself and for uh, my character's uh, partner, Switek, Switek and Zito. Uh, so I was a little discouraged with that. And, uh, uh, back then, I was like an actor, wanting to make a living as an actor. It's tough to do that now. Anyway, uh, but it was, it was, they were, everyone got along good. We all got along really good. And, uh, it was fun living down in Miami. And I lived in New York during the hiatus, you know. And, uh, I don't know what else I can say. Well, you're, from, you're from New York then? You're from New York? No, I'm not no. From New York. Where originally? Uh, I lived in New York. I, I'm from Cincinnati, actually. Ohio, there you go. Are you? Uh, do you follow any of the sports up there, like Ohio State or any of the pro teams? They're not too much into that. You know, I was yeah, I was into boxing a little bit, but I did I did like football. I like college football. Yeah, Ohio State's always very strong. Oh my God, and they won the national title this year. Yeah, they've always, they've always had a good yeah, football Ohio's program. Always... Archie Griffin, the Heisman Trophy winner. I mean, they've had some history with that. And always in your against you know, the guys like Iowa. And... Michigan, I think. Yes, Michigan. That's the big right. rival. You're right. You're right. So that's good. What was it like to working with Michael? And how funny is that guy? Uh, he's funny. He's a good. He's, he's, he's pointing at something. You know, but he's, he's great to work with. You know, Michael's. I love him. Even though he is conservative, he's you know he wears a red tie. Nobody's perfect. It's okay, right? Yeah, exactly. And lastly, John, was Stripes your first movie or no? And what was it like? That cast, you Bill Murray and John Candy, and I can go on and on with the cast. Harold Ramis, of course. I mean, Both, both Harold and John Candy. I had a really great time doing that. In fact, it's been all downhill since then. Don't say that. It was, it was one of my very first uh, jobs. I did a couple little things, but and I was doing a lot of theater and plays and stuff. But, but getting stripes was uh, was really a, a coup. And, uh, and all the, and I didn't know I didn't know who Bill Moore was because I never watched Saturday Night Live, so I was comfortable right off the bat. And so I did some fun stuff you know, that I might not have done if I knew you know, who Bill was or anything. So we got along really good. And, uh, and Candy, they, they called us the uh, you know, Laurel and Hardy. It was like, and, and everything that we did was all ad lib stuff. I was going to ask you that because I read that and saw that that even like when Bill Murray was in the barracks with Sergeant Hulk, and you guys were all sitting around, and he did the big toe, yeah, the and big, they said it was all ad lib. Yeah, that was all. That was all. But yeah, the big toe. He might have written some of that. Murray would go off into his trailer and write some stuff, you know. But, uh, but I mean. A lot of it, like the car plane scene, and when we went to Italy, and uh, all the stuff with the kids. It was, it was really, it was wonderful uh, to work with those guys. And Harold was the sweetest guy in the world. Well, John, thank you for what you did with Miami Vice and all, and Miami, for Miami, helping re-put Miami back on the map. So thank you.